Hello students! Welcome to Math and Magic. For this video, we will talk about complex fractions. By definition, a fraction that has a rational expression in its numerator or denominator or in both is called a complex fraction. In layman's term, it's a fraction with fractions in the numerator and in the denominator. The following are examples of complex fractions. 1 third over 3 fourth, quantity x plus 1 over 2, all over y minus 1, 1 over 1 plus 2 third, and others. Now, simplifying complex fraction means to transform it to a simple fraction. Simple fraction has no rational expression in its numerator or denominator. Here, it is important to identify the main fraction line. This is typically the longest bar line in the complex fraction. For instance, in the complex fraction 3 over 2 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 over x, the main fraction line is the one below 3 and above 2. Here we say that 3 is the main numerator and the complex fraction 2 plus 1 over the quantity 1 plus 1 over x is the main denominator. Now, when dealing with complex fractions, always align the main fraction line with the equal sign to be easily identified. In simplifying complex fractions, there are two methods that we can use. The first is using the least common multiple or LCM. Now, to better understand this, let's have this example. Simplify the complex fraction x over 3 plus x over 6 all over x over 3 minus x over 6. Here, we first need to determine the least common multiple of all the denominators. LCM of 3 and 6 is 6. Next, we will multiply this value in both the main numerator and main denominator of our complex fraction. For the main numerator, x over 3 times 6, the product is 2x. Then plus, x over 6 times 6 is x. Main numerator now is 2x plus x. Doing the same procedure in the main denominator, x over 3 times 6 is 2x. Then minus, x over 6 times 6 is x. Thus, the main denominator is 2x minus x. Now, performing the operations in both the numerator and the denominator, for the numerator, 2x plus x is 3x. Denominator, 2x minus x is x. Here, the resulting fraction is 3x over x. Simplifying this rational expression, we will cancel out variable x since that is common to both the numerator and the denominator. Hence, the simplified form of the complex fraction is 3. For our second example, simplify the complex fraction quantity x plus 1 over quantity x minus 1 minus 4 all over 1 minus the quantity 1 over x squared minus 1. Doing the previous procedure, we first need to determine the least common multiple of all the denominators. Here, the denominators are x plus 1, 1 for the constant terms, and x squared minus 1. Here, notice that x squared minus 1 can still be factored out. The factors are quantity x plus 1 and quantity x minus 1. This gives an LCM that is x squared minus 1 or quantity x plus 1 times quantity x minus 1. Next, we will multiply this value in both the main numerator and main denominator of the complex fraction. For the main numerator, x plus 1 all over x minus 1 times the quantities x plus 1 and x minus 1. Here, x minus 1 will be cancelled out. The product is quantity x plus 1 and quantity x plus 1 or simply x squared plus 2x plus 1. And then negative 4 times quantity x plus 1 times quantity x minus 1. 
the product is negative 4x squared plus 4. Doing the same procedure in the main denominator, 1 times quantities x plus 1 and x minus 1, the product is simply x squared minus 1. Then minus 1 over x squared minus 1 times the LCM, the product is simply 1. Simplifying the rational expression, here we will combine like terms. In the numerator, x squared minus 4x squared is negative 3x squared. Then copy plus 2x, positive 1 plus 4, the sum is 5. For the denominator, that is x squared minus 1 minus 1, or simply x squared minus 2. Hence, the simplified form of the complex fraction is negative 3x squared plus 2x plus 5, all over x squared minus 2. Now, as I've mentioned earlier, there are two methods that we can use in simplifying complex fractions. The first one, using the LCM, was utilized in the first two examples. Now, for the remaining items, let's use the second method. In this method, we will combine terms in the main numerator, also combine the terms in the main denominator, and then simplify. As an example, simplify the complex fraction 2x plus x over 4 all over x over 2 minus 3x. Here we will apply addition of rational expressions. In the main numerator, 2x plus x over 4, the LCD is 4. Next, we will rewrite the terms in similar rational expressions and then we combine. Here we will multiply 2x by 4. The product is 8x. Then plus x. 8x plus x is 9x. Thus, the main numerator is 9x over 4. For the main denominator, x over 2 minus 3x, the LCD is 2. Rewriting the terms in similar form, the numerator will contain x and then negative 3x times 2. x minus 6x is negative 5x. Thus, the main denominator is negative 5x over 2. In this part, we will now multiply the resulting main numerator by the reciprocal of the resulting main denominator. The reciprocal of negative 5x over 2 is negative 2 over 5x. Multiplying this by 9x over 4, the product is negative 18x over 20x or simply negative 9 over 10. Hence, the simplified form of the complex fraction is negative 9 over 10. For our last example, simplify the complex fraction 2 over the quantity 1 minus 1 over 1 minus 1 over 1 minus 1 half. Now, when you see items like this, what you need to do is to identify first the main fraction line. Here, that is the longest line below 2. Clearly, the main numerator is already simplified. That is equivalent to 2. What we will do now is to simplify the main denominator. The trick here is to simplify first the bottommost part of the complex fraction. In this case, that is 1 over 1 minus 1 half. We will mark it in brackets. And then we apply the first method, which is multiplying the LCM. LCM of 1 and 2 is 2. For the numerator, that is 2 times 1 or simply 2. Denominator will be 2 minus 1 or simply 1. Thus, the bottommost part inside the bracket is equal to 2. The main fraction now is reduced to 1 minus 1 over 1 minus 2. And as you can see, it is now a lot easier for us to simplify this complex fraction. The bottommost part, 1 minus 2, is negative 1. For the main denominator, that will be 1 minus quantity negative 1. 1 minus negative 1 is the same as 1 plus 1 or simply 2. Lastly, simplifying both the main numerator and denominator, the result is equal to 1. Hence, the simplified form of the complex fraction is 1. Now, for those who are taking down notes, 
Here is the summary of steps in simplifying complex fractions. Thank you for watching. God bless.